Welcome everyone to another episode of Ask Pastor Keith. Thank you for joining in. Uh, Pastor Keith, how are you doing today? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fine too as well. <laughs> It's a good day. It's a hot day today, yes. but it is good. Uh-huh. Uh, so we have a question here for day, uh, today uh, mm-hmm. to, for you. And so the question is, if I have a friend uh, who is gay and I'm invited to their wedding, what should I do? Am I accepting his or her uh, lifestyle uh, if I go? Wow, that's a uh, you know, very interesting uh, question. Uh, very complicated, especially these days. But um, let's just talk about what wedding is. Uh, wedding is viewed differently by groups of people. Uh, most countries outside the United States and some Western countries a uh, wedding uh, service at church is not accepted as a legal um, you know transaction so to speak mm. you need to go to city hall to register separately uh, it's only christian countries and uh, you know past uh, history they accept what is done at the church as a legal entity now so um For, for us, as a believers, uh, there are Catholics and Protestants. Catholics view uh, marriage, uh, wedding, as a sacrament. That's one of the spiritual uh, transactions. Uh, Protestants don't believe that, but nevertheless, we recognize this uh, believer's wedding as a, a holy um, promise-making, covenant-making before God. God is our witness, and so as our guests. Now, so when you put it in that perspective, uh, the LGBTQ or gay community wedding with a Christian flavor, is that a real um, mm. service before God? Uh, probably more of a, a ceremonial, uh, have more legal uh, you know, flavor to it than anything else for the sake of government. Because there is other common law Uh, law already for, for them to cohabitate and enjoy the benefits as a couple um, but they want to make it more um, official or celebratory and whatnot so we want to kind of distinguish that because uh, I think it matters uh, if the gay marriage uh, wedding is, is uh, portrayed as a Christian holy covenant making before God I don't think that's consistent with what the scripture is saying For at least that's what I believe, and the uh, you know, community believes as a word of God, as a, with a high respect for it. There are some people in in the Christendom, a Chris, Christian community, uh, they believe otherwise. But I believe uh, that's not consistent with what Scripture is teaching. Therefore, um, that is not. A Christian wedding per se mm. but it could be a uh, celebration uh, just like a legal you know uh, getting married before the uh, court and whatnot so having said all that uh, I think there's another factor involved that is uh, your friend uh, as as a gay person and, and what kind of relationship you have uh, and I think if there's a enough relationship that you, you want to, uh, you know, be part of his uh, life uh, and, and uh, keep the bridge of communication open so you can more freely share the gospel. Uh, and I think uh, it is not wrong uh, to be there uh, in that person's very important day for that person, no matter if it's right or wrong, whether you agree or not, uh, keeping that uh, communication line open But if this person is not uh, and very closed o- on that, and um, the person will take it as you know, you know, you have to do this for me. There's some type of entitlement in their relationship. Mm. Then you don't have to go. Mm. Uh, I, I think it's going to further embolden that person to that direction, mm. and I don't think it's consistent with our faith. So uh, it's not a simple uh, yes okay. and no. I think relationships are different, but having understood what wedding ceremony service is before God, 
I think we need to honor it in such a way that is consistent with the scripture. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, as I share, uh, LGBTQ lifestyle is not consistent with what the scripture says. That's how I believe, uh, and and there's been a traditional view up to this point. And um, there are other people obviously disagree with it, but uh, when you hold a high view of the scripture, that's consistently where we uh, come down to. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yes, uh, you know, it's a very difficult question, and we want to be loving and humble as possible. And I also want to point out uh, homosexual lifestyle uh, is not consistent with the scripture, mm -hmm. but there are so many other things uh, the heterosexuals are doing that's not consistent with the scripture either. So it is not the worst sin, and it doesn't define you as a person in two-dimensional way. Mm -hmm. There are so many other things in our life uh, that defines us as a person, person before God. And because of that, we need to be humble yeah. uh, and uh, you know, treated in such a way, in a very balanced way. But we need to be in a loving way and a humble way so that uh, we don't communicate wrong message uh, that we have a higher than thou uh, you know, type of attitude which is not acceptable by the scripture. Wow, yes. Uh, thank you so much, Pastor Keith, for sharing your thoughts and wisdom uh, and the Word of God uh, in this um, very difficult um, topic. And so thank you so much. And uh, continue to tune in each week uh, for Ask Pastor Keith series. And we look forward to seeing you again on our next episode. Bye.